In a previous video, we saw how to work with time in Google Sheets and how you can calculate the amount of hours worked to ensure that you're not getting shafted by your boss. In this video, we're going to take that a little bit further and we're going to calculate the gross earnings so that you can find out if your boss is actually skimming some money from you. So let's jump straight in. So we have here the same spreadsheet that we created last time together and we need to add a few extra things to it. So first off, we need an overtime cutoff. Now an overtime cutoff is just the amount of time that you need to work in order to start earning overtime. It will say 40 hours per week is the overtime cutoff and anything over that, your pay gets increased at a certain rate. So we also need to add in that rate. Now let's just go with 1.5 times your normal rate. So for example, if you're earning $20 an hour, then the overtime rate would be $30 an hour because 20 times 1.5 is $30. We also need to know the regular rate that you're earning. So let's go with the New Zealand minimum wage and we can see it's $21.20 per hour. So we'll put that in there. Now the reason you want these off to the side and not included in your main formula is because over time these will change. So for us, uh, as of the 1st of April this year, this regular rate is going to be increased. Actually, in New Zealand, we don't have a legislated overtime. So let's use a country that does. Let's go with the United States. So let's go with US federal minimum wage, uh, $7.25. Wow, that is insanely low. Let's uh, just take a look at um, the differences between these two countries. We have here the minimum wage for New Zealand and the US. New Zealand in dark blue and US in this greeny blue color. So we have here, uh, since 1997, every year in New, in New Zealand, the minimum wage has increased up to $21.20. The US federal minimum wage has increased, what's that, three times since 1997, starting at $4.75, and now at $7.25, and it hasn't changed since 2009, in the last 14 years. That is crazy what is going on in the US. Well... We'll go with $7.25 and uh, see what uh, what sort of income a full-time worker is using in the United States. So down here in our total time, we're going to need to calculate first off the difference between the total time and the overtime cutoff rate. So let's say that we go with um, overtime. Well, it's going to be equal to this number here, that's our total time, take away the overtime cutoff. It should give us three hours. Perfect. Now we're going to calculate the regular earnings and the overtime earnings. So let's go with regular earnings and then overtime earnings. We'll bold those and then right at the bottom we'll say total earnings. Let's put that down at one cell and we'll just insert a row below. Oops, not resize. One cell below. There we go. Okay, so the regular earnings will be the uh, regular rate multiplied by the amount of time within the non-overtime period. So the non-overtime period will be equal to the total time take away the overtime. That will give us 40 hours. Now if we try to multiply this number by the regular rate, press enter, we get a time here. But if we change it into dollars, we see it comes out as $12.08, which isn't correct. This person should be earning more than that. And the reason that's happening is because this time here, 1.67, let's just change that into a number. That is how many days this person is working. So let's multiply that by 24 to give us the total number of hours as a decimal. And then we can go ahead and multiply that as the regular rate. Press enter and we get $290. I'm going to format that as dollars by pressing this button here. And then the overtime earnings is going to be equal to this number. Remember, we have to multiply that by 24, multiply that by the regular rate, and multiply that by the overtime rate. We press enter on that and we get 783 as a weird format. So we go up top and press the format as currency button and we get $32.62 in overtime. So the total earnings will be equal to these two added together. Press enter and we get $322.63 for 43 hours of work. Now again, let's just switch that back to New Zealand dollars and see what we would get in New Zealand. And we get almost $1,000. Huge difference there.
So that's how we can calculate the total earnings worked for a given time. Now let's jump to the second sheet and see if we could do that for a block of people. So we have here the same block that we had. We've got the manager and then all of the workers down below. Let's just resize that so we can fit it on the screen. Now I'm just going to go ahead and hide all of the times here because we've already used them to calculate the total hours worked. If you do want access to those times, the spreadsheet is down in the description and in the pinned comment below. So feel free to head down there and open up the spreadsheet, follow along and on the way back up to the video, give this video a like. So let's just go ahead and hide all of those. We have our hours worked and our overtime hours. And let's use the same format that we did just before for calculating the total earnings. So over here in column T, we need to have the overtime rate. And in this case, it's gonna be 1.5 for everybody. Let's add in the regular rate. Again, for the workers, let's give them $7.25 each. Is that right, $7.25? Yes, $7.25. And then for the manager, they get an extra bit of uh, responsibility, so they get an increase of pay of $7.50. Our regular earnings. Then next to that, we'll have our overtime earnings and then our total earnings in the final column. Now for the regular earnings, it's going to be the hours worked that is not within that overtime section. So let's do equals, this time take away the overtime hours. We'll put that in brackets. And then at the end, we need to multiply that by 24 in order to turn that uh, hours, minutes, seconds into decimal time. We'll then multiply that by the regular rate and press enter. We get this weird format. So let's go up the top and press the dollar format. And we see that the manager, get th manager gets $300 in regular earnings over the week. Now let's copy that formula down to each of these workers down here. And we can see $290 for 40 hours, just like we saw earlier. And $265.89 for Hank down the bottom because he didn't reach that overtime hours. Next up, the overtime earnings will include this overtime rate of 1.5 times the regular rate. So let's start our formula with equals. We'll take our overtime hours, multiply it by 24 because of 24 hours in a day, multiplied by the regular rate and the overtime rate. Press enter and we get this weird format again. We'll press the dollar sign down up there and then again, copy and paste that down to each of these. And lastly, the total earnings will just be the sum of these two values. Press enter and, and and we get the total amount of earnings for these people in the uh, in the week. Now that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. Now in New Zealand, that would be equivalent to around about two people earning minimum wage across the whole week. Now the good thing about having these rates here in separate uh, cells is now you can go in at any time and change these rates to whatever you want. So let's say that the overtime rate ends up being two times regular. You can just put a two in there and we see that the earnings have now updated. Let's pop it back to 1.5 and let's uh, see what happens when we put in New Zealand rates into each of these. And we can see a huge difference in price. And you might be thinking that I'm picking on the US economy and how it's implemented. Well, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.